Okay, colleagues, this is uh, hopefully a very quick video to show you how to create a shared calendar for your faculty. Um, I'm just going to show you an example that we have at the moment for science. This is my calendar this week, a little bit busy. But here is the science faculty calendar. So you can see we have items which are relevant to um, everybody that's occurring in the next few weeks. Um, one nice thing that you can do is that you, when you click on this button you can actually overlay both calendars at the same time. You can see they're colored differently. Um, you can also put them side by side and to do that you right click and the moment you can see I've got overlay highlighted when I unclick that they're both uh, next to each other but I like the overlay view so I can see clashes. Um, let's create uh, a calendar so I'm just going to right click in this area here by the way you can see I've got uh, Microsoft Office 2013 but it, it's the same um, in 2010 right click here and you see you've got your option to create a new calendar so let's call that one uh, Hoffs you can call it whatever you like obviously for your team um, now that's created when I click on it you can see there are no items in it um, we're going to put an item in here, I'll show you how to do that afterwards. So now when I right click on this you can see it gives me an option down here to share. So I'm going to share the calendar and when I click on share you can see it gives me this dialog box. This dialog box I'm now going to put in my team so you can see I've already created a group for my science teachers. Um, and this one's up for you to decide really if I check this box here then your team can add edit and delete items in the calendar that's totally up to you whether or not you decide uh, you want your team to have those permissions mine is unchecked so I have uh, control over the calendar itself I would click send they would receive a link they would click accept and then the calendar would appear down here under my calendars for your team I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to cancel that. Um, do you want to save your changes? No. But uh, what I'm going to do now is show you how to make an item from my calendar, uh, my main calendar, move to this calendar such that it appears in both. Um, so let's have a look at maybe this item here. This is uh, poor attendance at Science ECA. Um, so I'm going to click on this and you can see I've got a shortcut button here at the top which says copy to folder and I'm going to copy it by, by default the Hofs has come up and click OK. Now this is in my calendar and also um, in the Hofs calendar straight away so one click and I'm shared both of those items but I don't want that to appear in there so I'm going to show you how to create this button here because it's very useful. Um, the ribbon here is called the quick access toolbar. You may not have that activated. If you uh, want to activate it then you can just use this menu here at the top to activate it. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. You click the button customize the quick access toolbar and you can see there are the, all the items here that appear here. So these are things that I use on a regular basis so that I don't have to use this menu this quick access toolbar is there all of the time so how do you add this button move to other folders Well, if you use this pull down menu here and go to all commands and then, then click on any of these just one click and then go to M and keep on pressing the M key you will find eventually, I mean, let's do M O um, scroll down under the M's and you will find eventually a move to other folder and click add and it says here I've already got it but obviously you won't have that on yours um, let's click OK and you can see when I click on an item it's copy to folder so when I click on that um, you can see my um, different calendars are there for me to be able to copy. That will keep a copy in your original folder and on the faculty folder. I hope that helps. Thank you very much.